What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to test a product using TikTok ads. All right, now before we get into this, I just want to show you all my store right now. Just as you can see, we are getting sales predominantly across North America. Um, total sales for the day is that right there. And I'm just going to refresh this real quick, just so you can see. Um, I just want to show you this just so that you have some proof so that you know what I'm about to tell you in this video. It is something I'm actually applying and you can actually trust the information I'm about to share. What we're going to do is we're going to head over to our TikTok ads manager and hit create. I'm going to come back to those two ads that you just saw there um, just to give a summary afterwards. So once we get to the create section, what we want to do is we want to go into advanced create. Now inside here, what we're going to do is we're going to do website conversion. This is going to be the initial test of a product. Um, so let's just go ahead. Let's put in an initial of a product and then we're going to put ABO and test. And then we're going to be testing in a couple different ways. So we'll start with the US and then just put the break even row as of the product. So let's say the break even row as for this product is 1.45. Um, we're going to split test this with two different types of audiences. This is generally how I'll test a product. So the first audience is going to be the US audience. So we'll go ahead, we'll hit continue. Now, once you get into here, what you're going to want to do is label this ad group as video number one. Ideally, you're going to want to have four different video creatives, but if you have only like one or two, that's fine as well. Typically, four will give you better odds of finding the best performing creative. So I typically recommend four creatives for your test. Once you have that all set up, you want to go ahead, select your pixel, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the complete payment conversion event. Once that's all selected, what we want to do is we want to select placements. We're going to uncheck these two and we're going to go ahead, turn off user comments. And we're also going to turn off video downloads. As we come down here, this first audience that we're testing is just the United States. So we're going to go ahead and just do the United States. If you don't have access to that, unfortunately, you're going to have to figure out a better country to target that you do have access to, but majority of you will have access to the U S now when it comes down to gender, what we're going to do is even if it's a female product, we're going to still leave it as all I've tested this several different times with cross testing to see if targeting specifically female for a female product actually will give you better results or better data, but it just doesn't. I don't know why TikTok's like that, um, but it just likes the broadness. It likes to see what it can see and then figure out which one is the best gender for the product. So we're going to leave it as all no matter what product it is. 18 to 55 plus all languages. And we're going to leave all of these how they are. We're not going to input any interests or behaviors. The audience segmentation isn't going to be based off those. It's going to be based off the countries that we're targeting. And I'll show you the next countries that we're going to target right after this. For daily budget, we're going to want to set it as $20 per day, and we're going to have it start the next day. So Depending on when you're running this, just always select the next day. And instead of 12 a.m., we're going to actually have it start at 6 a.m. I've just noticed this prevents this weird little error that TikTok does sometimes with new product launches. Sometimes it will like spend your entire budget within the first five to six hours and you just get horrible data. So I've noticed starting at 6 a.m. actually produces better data. So I always start my tests at 6 a.m. We're going to do an optimi uh, optimization goal of conversions. We're going to leave that how it is. And then under advanced settings, just leave that how it is as well. When we get to the ad creation section, like I said, we're doing ads spaced out in the ad groups. So we're just going to title this one as video number one as well. In here, you'll submit your custom identity. So that's going to be your brand logo and your brand name. And then down here, we'd go ahead and we'd upload a creative. So just an example, we're going to do this one. This is also a product where I'm just kind of giving you an example of an ad as well, just to give you a little extra bonus. So as you can see, this is just a basic ad structure that could work very well for you. Highlighting the product, highlighting the features and the benefits. Um, that's pretty much what you want to go with with your ads. And then you want to kind of push the customer towards purchasing at the end. And that's kind of the basic structure of an ad. For your text, there's a couple different options. So I've got them listed here. So you can do like buy two, get one free, uh, percentages off. You can do like new lineup launches, stuff like that. Um, so we'll just do available now, new lineup launch for the call to action. We're going to want to go ahead and select shop now. 
And then down here, what you're going to want to do is input your URL for the specific product page. Don't put a URL for your website or something like that. Make sure it's the specific product page. And then this one right here, I always leave it checked during the test. Sometimes I'll turn it off when I'm running at scale, but whenever I do the test, I always leave this on. It's kind of just my personal preference because I think TikTok favors when you leave this on, but that's just speculation on my part. So we'll go ahead, we'll leave that, and then we want to go ahead and hit submit. So now we're going to get into the second stage of audience segmentation when it comes to running ads. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to segment them based on the countries. Because in the initial test, what I'm trying to do is determine the best creative, so the best video ad. And then I'm trying to determine which countries are going to perform the best because I'm not actually doing any detailed targeting, so interest, stuff like that, I'm not doing it. So instead, I'm doing audience segmentation based on countries. Now, when we go through and we look at this one right here, this is an actual active live campaign that I have going right now for this product test. You're gonna see we have some results coming through with an average cost per click that's very high when we do just US targeting. And then you're gonna notice over here, I'm doing a tier four targeting. So Canada, US, Australia, and the United Kingdom. And you're gonna notice that I did a breakdown of female for this one. And the reason why you can do a breakdown of female if it's a female specific product, when you're doing multi-country targeting is because your audience size is so big. So narrowing down by female isn't gonna affect your cost per click too much. Whereas if you're just targeting one country, it can have a pretty dramatic effect. So when we go ahead and we look at this, you're gonna notice inside the campaign, I had five video ads running and only two of these actually showed some potential with the way that they were performing. Um, this one still had a pretty high cost per click, but it did get some higher conversion events, including a purchase. Um, this one, quite a high uh, cost per click, and that's why it was killed. And then this one has an even higher cost per click, but it did have an ad cart, so that's kind of why I left it going. But when you do it this way, you're going to notice which video ad performed the best, which is going to be this one. It has the lowest cost per click and it got a purchase. So this is the one that I would be using for my scaling process. But then the second thing that I want to do is I want to determine which country I want to use for my scaling process. So US didn't perform that well for this product. As you can see, we only got one purchase and not too many higher conversion events with an average cost per click that's quite high. And this is why for testing, I always test targeting just the US in one campaign. And then I do a secondary campaign targeting tier four countries, narrowed down by a gender if the product actually is gender specific. So if we go into the tier four, you're gonna notice same thing, the same five video ads running split into different ad groups. But this one got some really good results for a bunch of different ones. So you can see we have all of these coming in at reasonably good cost per clicks, except for this one, and that's why it was turned off. Um, this one, not the best cost per click, but it did get some higher conversion events. So when I look at this data, I'm kind of looking at it to determine which video ad performed the best. As of right now, I can see that um, tier four targeting compared to just US targeting is actually the better option for scaling. So which one's the best video ad? You can see video ad number two got a purchase and then these two had lower, um, had still good cost per clicks, but it got some higher conversion events. So video four, three, and two all were reasonably good video ads. Now, if we come back over here to the US one, um, video four, three, and two, let's see how they performed over here. So video four and video two also performed pretty well over here. So since I had video four, three, and two in the tier four campaign perform well, and video four and two perform well in the US campaign, what I would want to do is I would want to go ahead and scale out with video four and video two. And later on, I could try out video three again, but these two are clearly the ones that perform the best, not only with the US audience, but also with my tier four audience as well. So what I would do is based off this data, I'm not entirely happy with the US results, but just based on how the product performed and how well it could perform, I'm gonna still do scaling with US audience campaigns and also tier four audience campaigns, just based off the data that I collected. 
but now I know what my best video creative is. I know that the tier four audiences will most likely perform better, but I still want to test it out just because I have the budget that allows that. If you don't have the budget that allows that, you would definitely, when looking at this structure, you would determine that tier four is the best audience structure, female narrowed down, and you'd also want to use video number four and video number two and just target that one. If you have a bit more money like I do, I would go ahead and test both US and tier four for the scale. And that's where we'd cycle it over into our scaling campaigns and go out that way. And that's something I'll include in another video. But if this video right here did help you out with setting up some TikTok tests, I hope it did. Go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll try to get that next video about scaling out as soon as possible.